Let me open these blinds. I literally, ooh, the fireplace is going still from yesterday. It's still going. They said 10 hours and they meant it. Happy Vlogmas Day 3! Woo! We on it, okay? We on it, period. What's really good though? Like, is it Vlogmas Day? Yeah, yesterday was day one. Yeah, so today's day two. And this is going up tomorrow. Yes, okay, we're good. I almost like, and sometimes, you know, I just woke up. I only got four hours of sleep last night. My thought process is a little slow, okay? It's a little questionable, but, and I, and I didn't even have coffee. I didn't get to have my coffee, and I'm running on four hours of sleep. Okay, so let me give you a little rundown. This is gonna be a lot. I posted on my story today that this morning, I woke up at eight o'clock. My alarm is set for 8 a.m. every day so that I get up early and I make sure that everything happens when it's supposed to. I posted that I was up bright and early, basically getting ready to upload. Somebody that I went to school with was like, you should do it where you're like um, delayed one day so that you can like have time to you know edit and upload or whatever because it can be intense and i was like i did that last year and i felt like i was behind everyone i didn't like that feeling i felt like everyone was posting on time and i was posting a day late so it wasn't as exciting or like whatever so i was like no i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna be hella fucking tired for the next month <laughs> but i'm gonna do it so yeah i'm uploading vlogmas day two right now it says 34 minutes left i made myself a a cup of tea this morning but I need to eat some food I'm really hungry yeah I'm about to make myself breakfast um, so I can start my day on what up it's really the plaid nails for me like they look so they just look so good <laughs> Okay, so I uploaded the vlog, right? I uploaded Vlogmas day two, and then I got, it didn't, like I scheduled it to upload, so it wasn't live, but it was on YouTube, like ready to go, caption, description box, thumbnail, tags, all of that stuff. Ready to go, ready to go. And then I got an email from YouTube like, oh, there's a copyright claim in your video. And I go and click on it and it's Miss Mariah Carey herself telling me that my voice was just too good and like I was overpowering her in the video and she felt like I needed to stop. So she took my, my ad revenue off of it. And um, we can't do that. Like I don't need demonetized content. Not when I need it to eat, to live, to sleep. I have to pay rent. <laughs> um, so I was like, hold up, wait a minute, it's getting deleted. Da -da 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 -da. It's getting deleted. No, I took it down. Um, clip took out the little clips where it was being demonetized because they literally like YouTube's really good um, at telling you like exactly what the seconds are. So, girl, I just went in and I cut them out and I re-downloaded the video to my computer and now I'm re-uploading it. It's gonna go up in 41 minutes, but everything is already sorted out. So I just literally like copied and pasted everything from the previous upload and put it um, for this video. But yeah, I don't play that. Like every every uh, video that I make is the opportunity to make money off of it. Obviously, I'm a full-time YouTuber, so it's like, I don't even, I don't feel bad about putting at, cause like I'm spending how many hours throughout the day filming content, well, creative, creative directing content, filming it, editing it, 
and then uploading it like i need even if it's like little my little 30 cents like i want my coin point blank period yeah it's about to go up in 39 minutes it's 12 o'clock here which means it's three o'clock on the east coast so that's still a good time like that's still early in the day compared to yesterday tomorrow's video though i'm gonna have that fully edited and uploaded to youtube tonight and scheduled to go up in the morning like i'm not playing every single day after today the videos is going up 9 a.m here 12 p.m on the east coast because i just want to i don't even want to have to wake up and like have to deal with the video that has to go up that day i just want to be able to wake up and start shooting content for you guys start you know my vlogmas festivities so this is what i'm doing right now but i thought i'd check in with you guys <laughs> literally this album ariana miss grande snapped okay she really she did what she needed to do like this album from front to back like forward backwards every single song slaps nasty is that girl west side, west side come back. <laughs> i need to see her in concert like when covid isn't an issue a threat anymore to my life to my existence I need to see Miss Grande because no, she really snapped. Like I want to be, I want to be screaming my lungs out like. Burnt. <laughs> I was on Twitter yesterday, and Tariq Ali. I don't know if you guys, you guys know who that is. He's a YouTuber. I love his channel. So he, I followed him on Twitter, and he posted like his Apple Music like yearly summary or whatever. And I didn't know that they did that. They're trying to be like Spotify, low key. Cause I know Spotify does that, but I didn't know Apple Music does it. So I was like, no, I, I need to know what my, my most streamed, like my most listened to music is. And literally I was like, wow, this, lit this makes so much sense. So it says you've listened to 476 different artists so far this year. Here are your current favorites. The first one, <laughs> the first one is Pop Smoke with 94 hours and then it's Freaking Janae, I love Janae. Y'all already know, my husband is third. Drake, Gunna, Megan, Kehlani, Party Next Door, Summer Walker. Those are like my top, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There was more, but I didn't screenshot it. Those are my top eight. And then it says, out of the 130 albums you've checked out this year, here's your own personal top 10. And number one is Shoot for the Stars, Eight for the Moon. Y'all already know with 800 how many plays? 814 plays. Mind you, mind you, this album his this is the deluxe. This isn't even the um this is the deluxe. The deluxe came out on his birthday. And that was like back in July. That was like July 20th. The fact that it has 814 plays for that album and it only came out in July and we're in December, like that just goes to show <sighs> I don't gotta say no more. Like, Wanna was second. Wanna Deluxe, Gunna, Drake's um, Dark, what is it, Dark Hours? Alina Baraz was number four. And Ariana Grande's Positions was five. And that album just came out like two seconds ago and it has 400 plays already. So that just goes to show, but like I'm always playing music. Like I literally wake up and the first thing I do is get up out of bed and turn my speaker on and it's Bluetooth and I start playing music and then I go into the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face, get ready for the day. I may bring the speaker in there and I be blasting it in the bathroom. I get in the shower, blast it while I'm in the shower. Like I'm always, always, always playing music cause I live by myself. So it's like, I don't, I'm not really a big TV person. Like I watch Netflix and stuff, but more so in the nighttime like before bed or whatever but I'm not someone who will just like watch TV throughout the day. I'd rather listen to music cause like I feel like I can listen to it, but I can also do other things. When I watch TV and movies, I wanna pay attention. Like, I'm someone who wants to like know every detail. I'm paying attention the whole time. Like when I'm watching TV and movies, like I'm, it's undivided. So I can't really do that with it playing in the background. But music on the other hand, I could do everything with music. I cook, I clean, I edit, I film, 
I do my makeup, I work out, like I <laughs> I do everything to music. So I thought that was really cute that Apple Music did that. You guys keep asking me on Instagram because I'm always posting like when I do my makeup and stuff, I post like the music. A lot of you guys keep asking me like what song is that? What song what song is that? Like yesterday when I was doing my makeup. Um, I actually put all the songs that I was listening to like in my story like I just had them captioned in the corner or whatever But y'all were like this isn't enough like we need a full playlist Video like we want you to give us your playlist. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that for vlogmas um, Probably I have so many different playlists in my phone that I made and I'm like so happy and excited about. <laughs> I have playlists for different moods. I have playlists for different genres. I have playlist just for girls just for girls and then i have playlists just for guys like i literally i have playlists out the ass so i'm definitely going to be doing uh of some kind of playlist video because that would be hella fun um i'm about to clean my bathroom because it's real hectic in here and i just need to scrub my shower i want to do um like a bath a bubble bath later like a a little self-care moment so i want to clean my bathroom Not me having to put a mask on because the, str the smell is too strong. I'm not trying to pass out on camera, so. Sweaty while you cleaning. I'm mad high right now. You doing it wrong, sis. You doing it wrong. Go do it again. Get real sweaty. It should be like a little workout, you know. You should be scrubbing your back. Should be hurting. Your arms should be tired and fatigued. <laughs> Legs is feeling fatigued because you crouching down. You should be tired. It's the sparkling, the sparkling clean tub for me. Yeah, sis. Hey guys, 
So I just finished cleaning my bathroom. Oh, I gotta put a um. Do I have a towel? I do. Okay, cool. I've got a clean towel. Put my towels up. Um, the candle is burning and it smells amazing in here. But I just finished cleaning the bathroom, so everything's super clean. The dryer's going. I'm gonna take a shower. And then we're probably gonna make dinner together because I'm hungry, I haven't eaten, I don't know what I wanna make. I have a couple of ideas. My bathroom is very plain cause I haven't put really much effort into like making it cute and stuff. But it, it just is so clean. <laughs> it's very, very clean. Like, oh, I'm doing laundry. That's why that's in here. But it's just, it's so clean. I'm gonna do some skincare. I don't like it from this angle. I think it's cause I like this side of my face better anyway. Alrighty, we're gonna do some skincare because I just got out the shower. Skin is hella fresh, hella clean, you know? But I gotta do my little skincare routine. Ooh, that was a bar. You heard that? Ooh, okay, anyways. Anyways, I'm gonna go on with this Sunday Riley high dose retinoid serum. I got this in my Ipsy glam bag Not last month, but the month before and I really really like it It says advanced strength retinoid serum delivers a 6.5% power blend of stabilized retinoids and retinoid like botanical extract into the skin It's basically like anti-aging. I use anti-aging products because you're, you're supposed to use them because they're preventative and like they also will slow the process of you aging like quicker you know it's gonna help like i'm not gonna be able to fully prevent it everyone ages i'm gonna eventually age but i'm trying to treat my skin good while it's still plump fresh collagen filled you know just keeping it nice and young looking <laughs> so i was really excited when i got this in my ipsy it says how many pumps one to two, I put three, but I'm just gonna put this in to my skin. And I just really like the way it feels. It feels like, one, it feels like a luxurious product, um, but it also just feels really nice on the skin and it absorbs like almost instantly. Then I'm gonna go in with this One Love Skin Do. Uh, coconut water cream. It's a moisturizer. I have dry skin. This is hydrating. It says apply any time to cleanse skin or over your regular treatment serum. I just did my serum, so it's serums, moisturizers, and then oils. I just put this. I usually go like this, and I just put it all over my face, like so, like that. My routine, I don't, it's very simple because I don't want to be here doing a 20 step skincare routine. <laughs> okay, so that's what the moisturizer looks like on my skin. My skin looks good, right? It looks good, it looks good. Okay, so the next step I do is an oil. I like to use marula oil. I just feel like it's, one, it doesn't clog your pores. It's really good for your skin, your hair, and your nails, actually. It's one of those like multi-purpose oils. It's very natural. There isn't anything in it. It's just 100% cold pressed marula oil. Um, my sister swears by it. She says that it grew her edges out, her baby hairs. She has crazy baby hairs. She, if you think I have good baby hairs, which I really don't, my sister's edges <laughs> is on the, I, she was blessed. Like, no, but seriously though, my sister has really good edges. <laughs> So she was like, um, yeah, I was spitting this on my baby ears, but blah, blah, blah. and she swears by it. So I just do on my cheek and I do it here and I just rub it in. You guys, I have really dry skin, so I have to use like hydrating 
hydrating face washes and masks and things like that like nothing i use is really like gonna dry my skin out it's all to moisturize because my skin is naturally very dry <laughs> like after i get out the shower and my face is like no longer wet and it's dry and like the cold air hit it hits it my face feels tight like my whole face feels tight so it's like i have to put moisturizer on i have to put oils like i can't really neglect my skincare routine because it's so like uncomfortable this perfume oh my gosh i'm obsessed with it it's from replica which is um the fragrance line of mason margiela and this is beach walk this stuff and it's crazy because when i went to sephora um looking for a fragrance i already had then i already knew which one i wanted the sephora employee and he suggested this one and they have it in a candle they have it in the full size obviously and then they have the rollerball smells so good it's like the perfect everyday scent it's not too strong it has like a very subtle like really nice it, i can't even i don't even know how to describe the scent and i'm so good at describing Ooh, it's like it's like vanilla -y, but it's also like kind of spicy a little bit a little bit it's like warm it's like cinnamon -y, some kind of spice i want to look it up now because i actually need to know it's an oil it's a Oi de Towelette. I don't know how to say the, the E-A-U. Ooh, I was right. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, so it's notes of bergamot, coconut milk, lemon, pink pepper, and musk to invoke a familiar but forgotten moment, a walk along a sandy beach. That's literally, that's, that's what it smells like. It literally smells like a little warm, like that pink pepper and that musky scent, but then it also smells like beachy, which is like the coconut milk and then lemon and bird oh, it smells so good like go into sephora if you can and if you feel comfortable <laughs> go into sephora and smell this fragrance because it's literally like it's so good i want the candle and i'm gonna get the full size once my rollerball runs out i'll probably get that for myself for christmas that'll be my little christmas present like the last thing is lip gloss i always put lip gloss on um or like a lip oil or a lip balm or something this is a lip oil i got this in my ipsy glam bag last month and i actually love it so much it's halfway done like i use the fuck out of this <laughs> sorry curse i use this a lot like it's it was in my purse which just goes to show every time i literally go anywhere this is the lip gloss that i bring with me it's a lip oil it's not even a lip gloss it's in fresh pressed it smells like peaches um it's from Too Faced I don't know if I said that but the applicator is like really big and fat and I love when lip glosses and lip oils have like a really big applicator when I put lip gloss on I be like pushing it into my list like you don't get this moisture right moisturization <laughs> Yeah, so that's my little nighttime skincare routine. You guys keep asking me. Though, like, that's pretty much just what I do. Other than, I didn't show you, like, me washing my face and stuff, like, in the shower. But as far as, like, the products that I put on my face after I get out the shower, those are the items that I've been using. And I feel like my skin has looked the best that it's looked in a very long time. Ugh, it just, it'd be looking so fresh so clean so moisturized yes okay so i'm gonna attempt to make um air fried chicken breast i want to do like a spicy chicken sandwich <laughs> but like home edition i've never done this before so i'm curious to see how it's gonna come out um never use my air fryer it's gonna be the first time so yeah so i'm starting out with i got these this pack of chicken breast that I've been defrosting. And then I have flour in a bowl that I put Lari's um, seasoned salt in, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and chili powder. Those are also all of the seasonings that I'm gonna put on the chicken itself. So this is the flour. Got my air fryer. I sure did. That's what the inside looks like, that little piece that I just pushed in. Um, and it, I guess it just goes in there like 
that. Oh, buttermilk. I don't have buttermilk. Dang, it's kind of loud. It's sucking the air in. Um, in a medium shallow bowl, whisk the flour, cornstarch, and spices for breading. I'm gonna combine the cornstarch and flour mixture. I'm gonna do a little bit of milk in this egg. Since they use buttermilk in the recipe and I don't have buttermilk, I'm gonna just do a little bit of egg and the almond milk and then I have my flour, cornstarch, and spices. spray oil it says generously spray chicken set the air fryer to 30 minutes and start after 15 minutes flip the chicken and lightly spray the other side with oil continue cooking for 10 minutes or until chicken is golden and the internal temperature reaches 165 in here I'm gonna take my chicken little piece and whatever this is Get a little cold water rinse the chicken I have lemon in my Now we're here, right? We've got our cleaned chicken. I'm gonna go in with um Seasoned salt, Morton seasoned salt. Some black pepper. I was kind of heavy with this, <laughs> but it's really fine black pepper. So I'm gonna do a little bit of lemon pepper because I like a little bit of lemon in my fried chicken, like that zestiness. Smoked paprika is literally a must. <laughs> I put this on everything. It just tastes like barbecue. That's like what smoked paprika is. Don't forget the garlic powder. Hello, that's like a must. And last but not least, I'm gonna do a little onion powder. So our chicken is seasoned. That air fryer is really loud. <laughs> so first I'm gonna dip it in the egg and milk. And then I'm gonna dip it in the flour. And then I'm just gonna put it on this um, cutting board that I have off to the side before I put it in the air fryer. Let's do this. Like that. Make sure she's nicely coated. Flour mixture and make sure it's coated, okay? Piriana, and just repeat the steps as designed. My sister, she be putting her flour in a bag because that's how my grandma used to do it. And honestly, that's way smarter <laughs> than putting it in a bowl. But I already started. Yeah, yeah, we making fried chicken. Yeah, nigga, we making fried chicken. Yeah. Okay, so this is what our chicken looks like. Okay, period. Okay, period. It's already looking like a spicy chicken sandwich. Are you done? I don't have cooking spray. I didn't I didn't know that I needed that, so I don't have it. So I'm gonna take this. This is the air fryer thingy. 
and I'm gonna take a little bit of vegetable oil on a paper towel and I'm just gonna lightly like coat the inside because I should have done it before I preheated. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but you wanna cook the chicken in the air fryer at 375. I have oil on a paper towel. Ooh, this is hot. This is very dangerous. Don't do this. Don't do this, okay? Cause I'm gonna burn myself. It's like working, but like, don't do this. Cause this is very hot. <laughs> this is the kind of ratchet shit that I'm doing. And I'm gonna just lay it on the inside. If I don't know if you're supposed to like leave space in between. This is what it looks like in the air fryer. I'm about to put it back. It says to put it on 30 minutes. And at 15, I'm gonna take it out and flip it over, so. So I have sweet potatoes and I wanna do sweet potato fries in the air fryer next, but I don't have a potato peeler. And I don't feel like peeling the, the sweet potatoes with a, my knife because the knife I have isn't even the proper knife. I need a potato peeler, but I don't have one. So I think I'm gonna skip that actually and make it like next time. But I do have something fun for the bread for this spicy chicken sandwich this is gonna be so unhealthy i don't know why i'm being so fat right now i think it's because i'm gonna get my period tomorrow and i just want to like pig out i'm gonna do a biscuit like i'm gonna make a biscuit <laughs> and that's gonna serve as the bread on my spicy chicken sandwich i mean set to 350 you like buttermilk chicken? Um, I didn't have buttermilk, so I used almond milk, but it was the same recipe. But I just didn't have buttermilk. I did, but I did almond milk and egg, and I whisked that together. And then I did a flour, corn, starch, and seasonings like um, what? What did I call batter? I don't fucking know. And then there was another time when they tried to do. I think they tried to do the buttermilk chicken, but like. I don't know how well that worked out. Like, I don't know if it could, like, how it should, mm -hmm. how it should have, as opposed to, like, frying it. But I'm curious to see, like, how that's gonna work. Yeah. How it's gonna come out. Me too. Especially. I don't know, man. I don't know what's gonna come out. I mean, I seasoned the chicken before I put it in the egg, and the flour was seasoned too. And then I'm gonna put it on biscuits. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on a biscuit with pickles and spice i'm gonna make spicy mayo okay. and hopefully it tastes good and i'm gonna to be fat for tonight i went 24 hours without eating yesterday so i was like i'm gonna just okay i was just telling the vlog i wanted to do sweet potato fries because i have them but i don't have a potato peeler and i don't know i'm not and the knife no the knife that i have is not like a good knife don't peel the knife just do like skin, like skin on it. And do like, like. You can like cut them like slice them into like long potato sticks, like shapes, and then just. And, and eat them, eat them and them eat them. it with the, um. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it! Can I get a Pilsbury biscuit? These aren't Pilsbury. Oh, this is Annie's. I'm gonna make two. I think that should be enough. Like, I would see her and I would be like, oh, like, I like that she's, like, has a normal body. Like, mm -hmm. I, don't, I, have, I have nothing against plastic surgery, you know. Like, she looks great. But I was just like, yeah, okay. so that's what I would look like if I got a little, and a little, yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. I already know, like, it would be crazy. She looks yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's the proportions, like, the titties and mm -hmm. then the. The waist literally being, and then her butt. That's a BBL. Like, that's a BBL. Oh, shoot. My chicken's burning. It's been the time that they said it should be. It's definitely fried. That's a fact. And it kind of fried together. It smells like fried chicken. I'm going to do another 10 minutes. No, I'll do. Yeah, I'll do 10 minutes. I remember like a moment when we thought that this year was like taking forever. Like this season was like moving at the same pace and not the year's done. Yeah, the yeah, fact that like, 
Uh uh, not the cutting board splitting. Why is it splitting? Like there's a big ass crack in it. Oh. Chinese said to do the sweet potatoes, you guys. So guess what I'm doing? The sweet potatoes. Because literally, the second I ask her what should I do, if she gives me an answer, I'm going to do it. I'd be like, should I do this? And she'd be like, hell yeah. She'd be like, what do you mean? Why is that even a question? And I'd be like, you know what, you're right. It's so good in your content. No, honestly. It's maybe in a certain part of your content because I have like, I have a certain part in my brain and then like Yeah. And it's like she's a, you're a fucking part. Libra, so it's always so interesting how like for yourself like you would like struggle with coming to some kind of conclusion yeah. or whatever. I think honestly, like as indecisive as I am, I think another like Libra trait is Libras are also very good like advice givers. Mm hmm so I think I'm sort of like, I think you like to be problem solvers also, like, mm -hmm. so like, people that we know, right? Definitely very good advice givers and problem solvers, uh, confidants, like, you can confide in a Libra, they're trustworthy, at least the women. Yeah, yeah, I can't speak. I can't speak on the men because I personally just haven't experienced enough Libra men. Mm -hmm. But the women. Well, the Libra women honestly I'm doing them like chips, like fish and chips. Yeah. Like the British. Mark, I'm in the UK. I'm a one baby they know what they're doing. Bro. They need to stop. It's everybody in quarantine just getting it's pregnant for me. Look, garlic pan. Rosemary. That's me. Um, I'm like, I'm rosemary. I'm not one of these utensils. I literally don't. I've dirtied like 60 utensils and I have to wash all of them because who else is going to wash them? Like, I refuse yeah. to dirty another. So we just got to make this knife work. Okay, so that's what the potatoes look like. I'm gonna wait till the chicken is done and I'm just gonna throw them in the air fryer for like probably like 25 minutes or 20 minutes. Honestly, like some of my favorite artists, like creatives, people in my life are Sagittarius's. I really love Sagittarius's, like no cap. We found out yesterday that fucking JoJo's a Sagittarius. Like, all of these women. I love Sagittarius women. Sagittarius men are cool too. I have no beef with like no Sagittarius men, but like the women. Like, there's so many women in my life that are Sagittarius. I love all of them. Shout out to the fucking Sagittarius. It's fucking sad season. I need to make my spicy mayo. Oh, shoot. I burned it. Dang. Shiny, I burned it. It's dark. <laughs> this is a fail. I'm putting the the potatoes in. Because at this point, it's my air fryer being too too strong. Ooh, it tastes good though. Okay, wait, let me cut one open. Why you sound like that? Is it cooked? Why the inside mush mush? Why it look like that? Mmm, shiny. It's soft. Why does it look like that? It's raw, I think. Oh, it's frozen. Wow, I'm about to order food. I'm about to order some food. Wow, I can't. They were chicken breasts, but they were defrosted. I thought they were fully defrosted. Well, maybe that one piece was... Let me cut this one off. This one's fully cooked. Like, it looks like regular chicken. Okay, yeah, that looks, that looks better. The other one, I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know what's going on with that. 
That shit was dry as fuck. Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Dang. Why I burnt it though? My air fryer too strong. Yeah, maybe you need a. Uh, okay, these two pieces okay. are cooked. So this one is cooked. I don't want to have to cut it because it's going on a fucking sandwich. But like shit. <laughs> Brown on the outside way faster than it was able to cook inside. Mm -hmm. My seasoning though is like perfect. Mm -hmm. That's sad. It actually tastes really good. I'm about to make this spicy mayo. Just put some mayo. Take some red hot hot sauce. Do that, but we do a little smoked paprika, garlic powder. Oh, that was a lot. Black pepper and cayenne pepper. Mix it all up. I can't cook anymore. Yeah, those are good. What? I dropped them in the fucking oven. Oh. Why is everything going wrong? It's like a good cooking thing for you. My oven is okay, clean as fuck, but like, why? Like, I've had a day like that where like every component of my noodles like just was a fail. Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, a game day for me, like. Where everything just goes away and like I just meant to be timed everything correctly. Oh my gosh. I'm, I like, those days are the best. Oh, it tastes oh, good, but it also tastes a little burnt. This is the mayo. Oh, I'm out of for next time. Yeah. Mmm. It's a spicy mayo for me. I'm dead. That one piece of chicken that was frozen on the inside. What the fuck was that about? Yeah, that was that. My clothes are going on with that. That wasn't cool. The last little step are some pickles. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna try and slice these. You called me up to ask me when I got an air fryer? Yeah. Um, like last week. This is the first time I'm using it. I'm trying to make. I'm trying. I made fried chicken. But I burned the chicken because I didn't know how long it was supposed to be in there. So it's like hella crispy. It's not bad, but like it's not what I wanted. And then I was going to make a spicy chicken sandwich. I was going to put it on bread. And I made a spicy mayo. And then I'm going to put pickles on it. This is my chicken. Look at it. It's really dark. Is that the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, what the fuck? Babe, I told you I burned it! Uh, you're not supposed to make me feel bad! Nah, that's, that's great. Babe! Uh, get off the phone! Honestly, I was just on the phone with China and she was like trying to make me feel better and you over here trying to make me feel like shit. Can't see it again. Fuck off! Yeah, I can't see it again. Please. No! I don't. I probably got it from a bad angle. No! Stop doing our business. No. <laughs> Babe. This is not the time nor the place. It's always the time and it's always the place. Oh, this is gonna be such a juicy one. Biscuit. Got the mayo. So Ooh. this is a, a biscuit uh, chicken sandwich. Yes. Fire, fire, fire. I see. If the chicken came out the way it was supposed to, this shit really would have just. So what are you nothing. putting on it right now? Are you refrying chicken? Pickles. Okay, so are you making more chicken? No. I'm gonna peel <laughs> I'm gonna peel the burnt parts off. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it go to waste. It actually isn't that bad. Okay. Is, is the look of the burntness more actually like is it worse than the actual crispiness of the chicken? No, the crispiness is not that bad. And I seasoned it really well, so it tastes like it's supposed to, but it also has a slight burnt taste because it's like charcoal-y in some areas. With the sandwich, I mean, it doesn't look so, so, so bad. I'm gonna plate it and then see how I feel. Okay, so I just took the 
potatoes out of the air fryer. I got one sandwich done. I'm about to do the other one and then I'm gonna plate everything so you guys can see. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. I just had it in there for too long, honestly. And I could have did a little bit less flour. The spicy mayo. Mmm, actually so good. It's like a slider. Boom. And then put my dry ass chicken. Pickles. I love pickles, you guys. Bad bitches like pickles. I'm sorry. Bad bitches really like pickles. You saw Nikki was on live that one time and she was eating, she was drinking pickle juice out the jar. I do that. <laughs> I can't tell if this is the bottom or the top. We're just gonna put that there. Like so, like date. And then I'm gonna take some of these fries that I made. This little air fryer is mad strong. Like, cause th it was that wasn't even the full 20 minutes in the air fryer. You heard it just went off. <laughs> the chicken looks mad dusty. Ah! Yo, the chicken looks mad dusty. I just tried a fry and it tastes mad good. Fries is, the fries is where it's at. I know it, it looks really dark. The inside isn't burnt. It don't taste crazy because I had a piece of chicken with it. I know, I fucked up, but I'm still gonna eat it because I'm thankful that I have food to eat. I'm about to call Trini back and show her my food. She's gonna give me the reaction that I want. <laughs> okay, first of all, the sweet potato fries is where it's at. Um, look at my little sliders. That's not cute. That's not cute. I never did. The chicken is burnt, but like, it's not burnt on the inside. That's so cute. Oh my god, it's like a little like, like a sports night, like. Yeah. Been making shots out. That's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's taste it together, vlog. I'm gonna go sit down though. You guys saw the trials and tribulations. I'm sorry, you want me to call you back? <laughs> she said it's you. <laughs> it's, she said it's me having to watch you eat this. And I'm like, I'm sorry, do you want me to call you back? She's like, no, I wanna watch you eat it. <laughs> I'm really weak. See, we're gonna eat, eat this. To get her. Yeah, so let's try the sandwich, right? Because I'm procrastinating. You guys are like, are you gonna eat it or are you gonna just keep talking? So let's let's do it. <laughs> China's just watching me. You can't even tell that it's burnt. Like, uh, it's a little crispy. You know, it's a little extra crispy. You can't even tell. I put spicy mayo. This is, a, these are fucking buttermilk biscuits one. So they're mad fucking fluffy. I put spicy mayo on the top and the bottom biscuit. Put the chicken and then I put pickles. The little pickle juice, you know, just drizzling on it. I'm gonna make that now. See, I have to make that now. It's actually, things I did. That. That. I actually did that. This is gonna be the rest of my night. I'm gonna be on FaceTime with Chinese. We're gonna be twerking it up. She's doing her work and stuff. We're gonna be on FaceTime. I'm gonna be drinking my wine. I'm gonna eat my food. And I'm gonna be editing this video so that it can go up <laughs> when it needs to go up. So if you enjoyed today's Vlogmas video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below okay sis go ahead and click the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications because there will be new videos every single day leading up to christmas it's the consistency for me sis period you already know what it is i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video go ahead and comment your favorite part of today's vlogmas video down below and don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload, which is going to be tomorrow. Bye.